There'll be plenty of tough decisions for all councils to make. And we're joined now by two new Labour council leaders who are going to have to be in charge of making them. They are Julie Daw from Sheffield and James Alexander from the City of York Council. Both took charge after the Lib Dems suffered heavy losses in last week's local elections. And both admit you're a bit surprised to be here. James, tell me about your reaction. Well, we knew that we were in with a very good chance. Uh, we thought we were going to do very well, but I'm surprised by the amount of seats that we've won and also by the amount of support that we've received, and it's obviously much appreciated. And, Julie, I mean, you know, before, you never really thought that you would be sitting on the Look North so sofa, <laughs> uh, and in future we'll be having to justify. You <laughs> hoped, but this is all a bit of a new experience for you both. It, it is, and I would like to echo what James said. We knew we could win the uh, control of the council back from the Lib Dems but it's the massive majorities that we got and uh, the overriding number of uh, seats that we won in the end. So that's the big surprise. Right. Your honeymoon period is now over. No. <laughs> James Alexander yes. at York, you've already said you're yes. going to make a million pounds of savings or you're yes. not going to make the amount that was going to be made by the Liberal Democrats. Yes. Justify that to us. Okay. We put forward an amendment in our budget uh, forward to the council at the end of February to save just under a million pounds worth of services. It included cuts to uh, um, short breaks for disabled children, to disabled children's childcare equipment, and including um, cuts to library staff. And how we're going to pay for that is by scrapping the council's second new council office scheme that was planned under the Liberal Democrats, increase recycling to reduce our landfill tax, and capitalise some of our funding on road It all services. sounds very easy. It's uh, not very easy at all, and it will get harder. A, a lot of juggling, and I, I'm, I hope you don't mind me saying yeah. that you're tender age of 29, yeah. uh, the youngest in the country, yeah. and a lot of responsibility now on, on fairly young shoulders. There is. Well, the grey hair coming uh, very, very quickly, <laughs> I think, will uh, increase. Um, and I, but I do think my age is, is relevant to, to the job at hand. And people have elected us on a large mandate on a manifesto programme, and delivering that is the important thing that we get on with. Now, you, do, you look 29, if I may say. Thank you very much. I was going to recommend some <laughs> hair dye, but... <laughs> <laughs> when, I was, when we were down in Sheffield, we, we got many people saying this. They, they wanted Sure Start to, mm. to be maintained. Is that going to be it the is, thing that it, you're going to it, do? It's a big issue with Sure Start and children's centres. What we have said is we will re restore some of the cuts that the Liberal Democrats have made. But these not drop-in centres. For those who don't have young children, these, these oh, are... Oh, they're, they're more than drop-in centres. They provide childcare, they provide health care, they provide parenting classes, they provide all sorts of different core services for children. Uh, children and families so we will restore some of those cuts also some uh, some police support officers yes that you uh, well want to bring yeah. up more uh, when you ask people out in the community what's important to them uh, the thing they say is is safety in their community in their homes and around in their neighborhoods and Sheffield City Council previously funded 25 police community support officers uh, all we can afford to do at the moment with the cuts is re restore 10 of those so we're reinstating 10 Police community support officers, yes. Might well, you be held to task from now on, okay? Okay, well, th that was the easy interview. From now on, the gloves are off, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much.